Hi everyone, welcome back for another video about solar panels, solar energy and what we do with the energy that we produce from these wonderful things. The weather's been mixed this month, there's been some really good sunny days, but there also seems to have been quite a few days that look like this, grey and overcast with bright spells. Uh, it's been warm, but not warm enough to have the air conditioning on, and it's been cold, but not cold enough to have the heating on, and that pretty much sums up June. Changes for the month? Well, we definitely fixed this blue residue problem with the Zappy Type 2 cable. I've now holstered the um, tethered cable with the Zappy, and that has most certainly resolved the problem. No more water ingress. I think I've bought my last few CASA smart plugs. Unfortunately, Amazon keeps having offers on them, and I can't resist. But the biggest change was on the 29th of the month when Power Different came back and basically uninstalled everything. We've taken everything off the wall, so the Solar Edge inverter came off, the Solace inverter came off and stayed off. We've actually taken that away, so no more Solace, and instead I've replaced it with a Huawei, or Huawei if you pronounce it that way. It's a Sun 2000 3.68 KTL. The Give Energy battery, that's gone as well, so that's gone back to power different. And instead, we've installed the battery that goes along with the Huawei inverter. So it's a Huawei Luna 2000 battery. This one's a 5 kilowatt hour battery. So this is our final configuration and layout, and I know you're going to be asking the question, why, why all the changes? Well, firstly, I'm testing these batteries. So this is the third battery that I've now tested. The first was from Pure Drive. The second was Give Energy. This one, the Huawei. I think this is going to be a pretty good battery. Um, and it's a hybrid inverter, and that's why the Solace inverter has gone. So it combines the battery inverter and the solar inverter as well. And all the different manufacturers have different specifications for how much space you need around their boxes. So it's given us an opportunity to take things off the wall, have a reshuffle and tidy up. But I'll cover this Huawei battery and inverter later in separate videos. This video is about June's update and the data. So here we go. So let's start with grid usage. So for the month of June, we spent £9.31 on the Agile tariff with Octopus Energy. Yep, that was a huge 18.53 pence average per kilowatt hour. But because we're using so little, only 18.51 kilowatt hours for the entire month, the price doesn't seem that bad. So I don't mind staying with Agile longer while we're not using very many kilowatt hours. But yeah, it is quite expensive at the moment. No plunge prices for the month of June, so no negative pricing, so I haven't been capitalising on cheap energy. In fact, I've been avoiding the grid as much as I can. There have only been three days where we've used more than one kilowatt hour, though. On the 1st of June, I think it was a test I was doing. I really can't remember, but that's why we used more than one kilowatt hour. On the 19th of June, we ran out of battery. And on the 29th of June, that was when we changed the inverters around. So a lot of the inverters and solar panels were off during the day, hence we used the grid. The Solace Array, that generated 512.3 kilowatt hours of energy, and that's 14 280 watt panels. The worst day was on the 18th of June when we generated only 1.9 kilowatt hour and the best day was on the 23rd when we generated 28.7 kilowatt hours. For comparison, June 2019 was less, it was only 500 kilowatt hours and in 2020 it was higher at 553 kilowatt hours. That's three months in a row now that that array, the 3.9 kilowatts, has generated over 500 kilowatt hours, which really, really helps because 500 kilowatt hours is the minimum we need to power everything. Our solar edge array, that's an additional eight panels at 300 watts each, so 2.4 kilowatts, going through a two kilowatt solar edge inverter. That generated an additional 295.89 kilowatt hours. And we exported 242.68 kilowatt hours for the month. Yep, with the Mini with a smaller battery, I don't have as much spare capacity in a battery to charge up. So we are exporting more. That's a combined total of 814 kilowatt hours for the month of June. 
The Give Energy app reported that we used 98.4% of our own energy and only 1.6% from the grid, whereas the My Energy app said that we were only 95% green, using more energy from the grid. So as you can see, these different apps vary. The actual amount of grid energy we used was 18.5 kilowatt hours. The Give Energy battery really helps in keeping the grid energy usage down to the bare minimum. This month we put 89 kilowatt hours of solar energy into the battery and we extracted out 77.1 kilowatt hours. It's a 5.2 kilowatt hour battery of which we can use 4.4 kilowatt hours. Okay, water heating next. That's with the My Energy Eddy device that diverts excess solar energy into the immersion heater and the hot water tank. This month we put 121.6 kilowatt hours of excess solar energy into hot water. Out of the entire month, there were six days where we either put no energy in via the eddy or we put insufficient in to heat our hot water. Four of those six days were consecutive. So actually we had to turn the oil boiler on during the month and heat the hot water for a couple of days. The house itself, that includes charging the Give Energy battery, consumed 317 kilowatt hours. And the last number there, 156.4 kilowatt hours, went into the Mini via the My Energy Zappy. And finally, the Mini Electric. It's now covered 2,337 miles. This month, we've covered 655 miles. So if we divide that into the number of kilowatt hours that we put in via the Zappy, it comes out at 4.17 miles per kilowatt hour, including charge losses. So apart from installing this Huawei uh, hybrid inverter and battery system, it's been a bit of a dull month, or uneventful anyway. Not much to update you with apart from the statistics. So hopefully, well, I suspect there'll be quite a bit more information to update you with next month. As always, thanks for watching. Take care. See you again soon. Bye-bye for now.